this political crisis that uh, I don't know about you, but I had hoped would have gone away at some point over the weekend or that common sense would have prevailed when politicians went back to their constituencies and got a very clear message that now is not the time for a general election and we don't want to go to the polling stations in the week before Christmas, the 19th or the 20th or whatever the case may be. But lo and behold, here we are. We're still talking about whether the election can be avoided or not. There's a constant drip drip of information about who knew what and when and it all goes back to the same place. It all goes back to the Department of Justice. It's Frances Fitzgerald who has the potential to stave this all off if she decided to resign or if Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael came up with some kind of fudge that would at least get it past Christmas and kick it instead to the Charlton Tribunal. But all we know today is that we are at the same point that we were on Friday. So even when we're having this big negotiation with the European Union uh, and Britain on what's going to happen with Brexit, when we've hundreds of people who were asleep in doorways last night covered by blankets, when we have children in hotels and going to school this morning uh, knowing that they're going back to a hotel room tonight, what are we having a discussion about a general election on? Over who knew what and when? Danny McConnell, who's the political editor of the Irish Examiner. What we certainly don't have any agreement as of now is the fundamental question around Francis Fitzgerald and her position. And what we um, have had is little or no movement since Friday on that. Now, what we got some sense very late last night was a possible fudge uh, in the light that, that Francis Fitzgerald may be forced to go in and give a sort of a groveling apology to the doll about her knowledge or lack of knowledge and the handling of all of this take a bit of a public flogging from the opposition and that would allow Fianna Fáil in conjunction with the reform measures which they could claim as a win for them uh, that might be a possible way of, of, of getting everyone out of the mess. The fact that the, the leaders have met every day since Friday is a positive step in terms of trying to avoid an election. Uh, the fact that there seems to be some slight progress on the reform agenda over the weekend means that you know they're beginning with small steps to try and build up to the fundamental question, that standard negotiating tactics. But it is kind of getting to the stage now. We need to see progress, real progress, either today or very uh, at the very latest tonight, because mm. Leo Varadkar can't go into the doll tomorrow and really begin the process of a motion of no confidence. It really would be game over at that stage, because then you know there really is no way back.